Hey, what's going on guys? Dragon Dog here, and welcome back to another Brawl Stars video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the dreaded Band-Aid Shelly and how to counter her. And for those of you who've been living under a rock and don't know what Band-Aid Shelly is, so it's basically Shelly's brand new star power. So before, her original star power was Shell Shock, and that's when they, they slowed the enemies down for 3 seconds when she supered. But now, she has a passive healing ability, so when Shelly falls below 40% health, she instantly recovers to full health, and it's only when the band-aid is fully charged, and it takes 20 seconds for that band-aid to charge. So it can really throw your opponents off guard, and it's killed me numerous times because I just totally forget about the band-aid on the Shelly, because she just jumps to full health when she's basically one shot, and she just takes you out. She essentially has 10,000 HP because her base HP is 5,000 and if her band-aid pops then she has another 5,000. So we're going to get into some solo showdown games and talk about how to counter this. Okay hopping into our first game, so just the disclaimer, I'm by no means a pro showdown player. I actually have like 150 showdown wins and that's definitely not a lot compared to what I, uh, compared to my 3-3 wins. As you can see I'm just getting taken out by this Piper here. So, with Band-Aid Shelly, she recharges her thing in 20 seconds, so but if I get below 40% HP, I, it, the Band-Aid instantly pops. So actually, let's focus a little bit just so we don't get 9th place immediately. So this Shelly is right here. I'm actually not too worried. I do have my Band-Aid up because my yellow bar is filled up. So I don't think I'm actually going to end up getting any boxes off the start, so I'm just going to rotate back. So, the best way to counter Band-Aid Shelly is to try and bait her band-aid so but what i mean by bait her band-aid is you don't want to over commit if she if you know she has band-aid the way to know if a shelly has band-aid is if she supers and she doesn't have the shell shock ability and she has the little star under her name or her the emblem under her character so as you can see my shelly you see the green circle how there's like a little star that signifies i'm level 10 and i have a star power now most people don't know my star power because I didn't super, but I have Band-Aid. And the best way to bait this, basically get the opponent super low, pop their Band-Aid, and then go all out. Because you will have 20 seconds to actually kill the opposing Shelly with Band-Aid uh, before her next Band-Aid actually comes available. So this means bait the Band-Aid, and then once it's baited, you know she'll have full health, but she also won't have that extra band-aid health. So that means that you could just go in, all in, and take her out before uh, anything happens, before she recharges her band-aid. This will allow you to take her out really easy. And also one thing to note, in Brawl Ball games, even if you have your band-aid charged, and the other person scores a goal, or you score a goal, and you reset, then that means that uh, the band-aid for the Shelly also resets. So that's a big thing. So let's see if I can finesse this Leon here with my band-aid. I gotta heal up. I don't want to pop my band-aid immediately because then he'll know and he'll kind of bait it out like I said. So let's see if we could actually just charge our super maybe. Oh no, we're definitely dead here. Yeah. Okay. We got second place though. That's not bad. Let's get into the next game and keep talking about this. Okay. So as I was saying in the last game, uh, when you respawn in Brawl Ball, when someone makes a goal, their first goal, then your band-aid will reset so you know automatically that everyone's on an even playing field and nobody no Shelly has band-aid at that point so that's one good thing to know when you're playing brawl ball so now let's actually focus on the gameplay a little bit more and we do start off with three power-ups and we also have our band-aid fully charged up so we have a really good start in my opinion last game i was playing super passive because i was uh, mostly trying to explain the band-aid Shelly concept and how to counter her and so let's see if we could go for this Rico here. He has two power-ups here. Let's try to peek shot. It looks like there is two long-range brawlers here. Kind of looks like they're teaming on me almost. Let's just see if we could juke him out here. There is, it's kind of hard to juke him out with the long range. I bet the Colt's going to super here. Let's see what he does. Um, actually, I could just walk up to him. I forgot I have Band-Aid. Luckily, I did heal from the Band-Aid. I am probably going to go down here, though. Because there's just too much range. I have nothing to... I can't do anything. Yeah, okay. I'm down. Okay, that was 
very, very bad game. Let's hop into another game and focus a little bit more on the gameplay. Okay, let's go. Hopping into the next game. We do spawn with one box, or two boxes actually. Let's see if I can get the one to my left after I secure this one. Let's make sure, oh, it looks like there is a Leon there. So I'm definitely gonna try and push him, charge, try to charge my super actually, because Leon doesn't do much damage from afar, but if I keep poking at him, I will eventually charge up my super a little bit. So yeah, he only does 292 from afar. He actually does less if I'm a little bit farther away. This Nita, actually, I could try to push her a little bit. I don't want to charge up her bear. Let's see, is there anyone trying to bait the box? It doesn't look like it. I'm just going to triple shot the box. And let's try to go a little bit more aggressive. Make the game a little bit interesting here. Death Spite actually does have 7. So you know what? Let's not make the game interesting. Let's just run away real quick. Because there's no way I'm taking out that spike if he plays well. Actually, let's team with this Nita right here. Let's see if she'll gain our trust. Actually, we might not betray her because of uh the spike is right there and i'm actually a little scared of him because he has a little bit more range and a lot more power-ups than me so let's see if we could heal up we don't want actually we're pushing this bull here pushing the bull into the leon uh stopping his regen it looks like he's gonna have to go for someone my band-aid did pop there kind of did save me so let's see we want to wait for my next band-aid to pop off or get uh charged up actually so we could go a little bit more aggressive here now this is the meteor game mode modifier so if i am next to someone it will start raining meteors down on us like crazy so i'm actually just gonna push back the nita we're gonna try to kill her actually let's see where's the leon it looks like the leon kind of ran away. oh i guess not okay let's get rid of this leon here auto aim for the win our band-aid did go off giving us a little bit more health again and there's that spike oh my goodness i walked into two of his shots and i'm dead Dang it, that's a fifth place, but let's hop into one or two more games, and let's see if we could try to get at least one first place win this video. Okay, going into the next game. Like I said earlier in the video, I am no uh, showdown expert. I'm pretty sure Shelly's not even the best option on this map, but you know what? We have Band-Aid, so let's just go for it. So it does look like we do start off with about three boxes, if I could get them all here. Let's see, also my Band-Aid is charging up. That's a huge factor in my gameplay because i'm able to go aggressive or if someone's pushing me really hard i will heal up so let's actually see here let's maybe try play a more passive role here it does look like there is a carl i'm not too worried about him i just have to kind of juke around the wall and get a little bit closer to him here it doesn't look like he has a fast pickaxe so i'm not too worried he's not going to do too much damage to me i'm not i'm just going to try bully him into the storm actually push him all the way back that's right carl run run away run away but yeah he did get a nice tag on me but again i do have band-aids so there's no way that he's gonna end up killing me because i'll just go right back to full health again but he does unfortunately have a little bit more range on us and he is playing smart playing his range to his advantage here so let's actually rotate a little bit around let's get a better positioning because i am getting pushed into the storm i actually have another shelly right here i do have my band-aid so i am confident right now oh it does look like he's getting third party here by a crow because he had a little fire uh tick on him i am trying to push him though get put a little bit of pressure on him he is running away so he does have the other star power i forget what it's called it's protective something there's a shelly here i am gonna push her away charge up my super a little bit I have to remember, I have Band-Aid, and I also have three power-ups. So let's actually... Oh, it looks like that Shelly also has Band-Aid. So yeah, my Band-Aid just popped there. Let's push this Brock a little bit, actually. It looks like the Crow might actually take the Brock out here. Let's see, it also looks like the Crow is trying to push here. Oh, uh, let's see if we could get the Brock. We do end up taking out the Brock here. The Carl is super low. Hopefully he pushes the... Uh, crow oh it looks like he got taken out by another carl i definitely think the crow is our biggest threat here um i'm a little bit worried because he does have his jump i also do have my band-aid so i'm not exactly too worried i'm actually just gonna go super this daryl here get rid of him and it does look like there's another carl i do want to take out the carl before he before the crow takes me out at least we could get second place here and yeah we end up taking second place okay one more game for a chance to redeem ourselves and get that first place win okay hopping into our final game here 
uh, looks like we do spawn with the box, luckily, and there's also someone else. I did not see who it was, but it looks like that person is pushing away from us, which is good. We get an easy first box, one power up, and it does look like it's another Shelly. You could see that she doesn't have a star power, so she's level 9 because she has the max level health, but she also doesn't have a star power because there's no emblem. There's no star emblem below her, so that's good to know. I, my bandaid is charged up here, so I am going to go a little bit aggressive here push her a bit i know she's not going to do too much here because if she does my band-aid is just going to pop here just like that and okay this is n i don't know why i'm having a hard time killing her and there it uh, there it is okay that was a lot harder than it should have been especially because i was maxed with band-aid but let's see let's see where we could get our next kill here eight people remaining still storm is closing in on us so let's see what's around it does look like there's a rico up here loaded rico with his uh super he does have three power-ups only does 540 damage so i know he's not max level let's see just push him into another team here where our goal is just kind of pushing people into other people uh this colt is going to be pressured into the middle here it does look like this rico is trying to shoot us and I'm actually just going to go behind the wall, re-rotate, get a little bit better positioning. It does look like the Colt is going to bully us here. Uh, yeah, he's destroying all our walls. I'm not too sure what we're going to do here. It does look like we do survive here. Our band-aid really came in clutch there, bringing us back to full HP. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're getting teamed on by two long-range brawlers. And I'm definitely not too sure what to do. Our band-aid is popped, however. Which is very helpful. It looks like the Rico gave up and started shooting the Colt. Uh, let's see if the Colt... The Colt isn't shooting the bow. They're teaming on me. No. This is Showdown 101 right here. This is why I don't play Showdown. Because of all the teaming going on. It's just super unfair. It does look like they are going to get hit by a lot of... A lot of meteors. And they're kind of just betraying each other now. Super funny. It does look like we, the Rico does get taken out. There is the Colt left. Let's see what we could do here. He supers. Let's see if we get the first place. And we do end up taking the first place. With the band-aid popping off. Saving our lives. And that's going to be a first place win. But anyways. Just to recap how to counter band-aid Shelly. In case I wasn't clear in the beginning of the video. Be sure to bait her uh, band-aid ability. By getting her super low. And you'll know. Because she'll jump to full health. Then you have 20 seconds to kill her, and if you can't kill her in that 20 seconds, just bait the band-aid again, and then try to try to kill her in 20 seconds. It might be really helpful for either your mid, depending on what game mode you're playing, but one of your other teammates to help team up on that person. But other than that, that's going to do it for today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you have band-aid Shelly, and if you don't, comment down below if it's annoying to verse her, because I know it's super annoying when I verse her. But other than that, be sure to subscribe with notifications on, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.